who should be using BFR training? Well, anybody who wants to exercise and exercise better. So we got everybody from people out there who don't exercise anymore. Maybe the pandemic, you're not going to the gym anymore. Maybe all you like to do is walk. This is a way for you to do things you already love to do. I was talking to a lady last night. She cleans her house and walks up and down the steps and she gets a fatigue in her legs like she is doing high intensity exercise. She's already lost five pounds. She didn't change a thing. Okay. What's happening? She's able to reach a fatigue while doing stuff at home, normal daily living stuff, walking the dog, going for a bike ride with the kids or taking your kids on a weekend trip to a volleyball tournament, right? You put your bands on and you walk around the tournament and you watch your kids. They're getting a burn or fatigue in their legs. It's like a high intensity workout. That's number one. Now you got all the gym people, right? Hey, if you want to go to the gym and get a better workout, maybe you don't want to be there an hour and a half. Maybe you don't want to hurt the next day. Us old guys, we don't want to hurt, right? No. We can't squat. No. We can't, you okay. know, we can't do that no. heavy stuff. But the workout we just did, we can put the bands on and grab 10 pound dumbbells. And me and him are cranking out the arm farm and it feels like we're curling 50s when we get done and our arms are all jacked up. So now all the 30, 40, 50, 60 year old people, man, you can get a workout like you're a kid, just like you can run through a wall when you're done because you got the bands. Now you got the athletic world. You're gonna be able to put the bands on and hit deeper fatigues. Let me tell you about my son, 17 years old, played football his whole life wanted to be a division one college football player. All these kids want to, you know, they want to go to college and play football. And he was a quarterback. He wasn't fast enough. He ran like a four, six, 40. That's not bad, but not wide pretty, receiver speed. Pretty good. Right. That's low D1, D2. Put the bands on him. Uh, had Vic training. Vic's one of your people in your mastermind yep. group. Yep. Thinks, just loves you, man. And he did his same training, no change in training, but here he's hitting a deeper fatigue. Why? The bands are on. So even when he's doing the Vertimax and the sled push and the box jumps, he's hitting a deeper fatigue. So apply that to all athletic throwing a football, hitting a golf ball. You hit a deeper fatigue because the bands are on. In eight weeks, he went up to Ohio State, ran a 4 3 5 40, 10 scholarship offers. Sure. I turned him from a low D1 athlete to 10 scholarship offers. We got a Utah volleyball player, sure. Emily. She wasn't jumping high enough. And she trained with Dr. Jim up at Park City. In 10 weeks, she put six inches on her vertical. Wow. How is that possible? Because you're taking an athlete in their movement of jumping or throwing or running or swimming or hitting a golf ball or throwing a football, and you're able to put them in their same exercises. Granted, it's less work. It's less weight. But when you reduce the oxygen, you get a deeper fatigue. And we're going to dive in that in the science. Deeper fatigue, less oxygen equals better results every single time. Yeah. And, and as Dr. Mike is talking about right now, let me be real with you here. You're like, hey, Todd, how did you get involved with all this stuff? I got to be honest. I've been hearing about BFR training for years. A lot of my NFL athletes, Major League Baseball athletes, have been using BFR training as part of their recovery or rehab training with their respective teams. So it's been part of the protocol for years. But just now, is it really becoming part of the, I won't even say performance, I'm talking about the fitness regime for non-athletes. So how do, I, how do I get a hold of Dr. Mike? There's a gal named Amber Kivett. And, uh, if you've been following my story at all, uh, about a year ago, I started suffering for, from a relapse of a back injury. And I couldn't train at the level I wanted to. And when you can't train at the level you want to, it starts affecting your mindset. I'm like, dang, I got to get back to my, my heavy training. And she said, hey, there's this guy, Dr. Mike DePord, who you need to meet because he does his BFR training. And it's a way for you to actually get the same type of response hormonally. Talk to me, girl, talk to me. And she's like, well, when you use BFR training, what's gonna happen is testosterone, growth hormone, and IGF-1 is all gonna be released from using BFR training. All of a sudden, I'm like leaning, I'm like, hey, tell me more about this stuff. So I reached out to Dr. Mike and he said, that's what BFR training is all about. That's why you do it. While the athlete world has been using it for a number of years, now what happens is guys and gals Women who want to lose weight, want to improve their metabolism, can use this as part of their re regime and routine. For the last nine months, I've been using BFR training for three, four days a week. I know he uses it seven days a week. I use it three or four days a week when I'm doing my strength training and I'm doing half the amount of weight that I've been using, increasing the number of reps and getting a tremendous burn and most importantly, the hormonal response. That's why one would use BFR training. So let me ask you the question, 
Is it appropriate for athletes? Yes or no? Oh, absolutely. How about kids? Yes, absolutely. What age kids? <clears throat> as soon as they can start doing push-ups, sit-ups, running. So if you're training a kid or a kid, you want to get faster, stronger, more explosive, then you can use VFR <clears throat> training. Under the auspices and eyes of a trained professional, please, can you hurt yourself with VFR training? No more than you could hurt yourself going to the gym. Okay. So how about women? Could or should they be using BFR training? Well, if they want more growth hormone, higher metabolism, shorter, more efficient workouts, they should use it. If will they... it get them big and bulky? No. It no. will not. No. Repeat, no. it will not get no. you big and bulky. It will get them lean and toned arms and nice lean bodies. There you go. Because still, after 25 years in this industry, I'm like, I don't want to lift weights. I might get big and bulky. No, you won't. You will not. Careful what's going in the mouth because the food is going to have something to do with are you getting big and bulky. Strength training and in incredibly smart, intelligent strength training uh, is the key to that. And to me, uh, the BFR training is a, I'm going to call it a hack, but it really is science. Mm -hmm. It's a hack, but it's science because I don't know about you, but I'm looking for every hack in the book when it comes to recovery, performance, fitness, hormones that's safe, ethical, and legal, right? All these things are going to allow our bodies and our minds to be at the best that it can possibly be. What else? Any other reasons b b besides who should be using it or why use it? Well, I think it's the greatest weight loss thing we've ever seen. Okay. Because, you know, when you diet, diets are, diets are fabulous. They work awesome, you know. There's so many great diets out there. But at some point when you're reducing calories, your basal metabolic rate slows down. Mm. Then you're kind of stuck, right? But if you could get exercise, I want everybody to imagine... If instead of burning 2,000 calories a day, ladies, you could put the bands on and in five or 10 minutes do a workout like Amber does and me and Todd did, and now you're gonna burn 2,500 calories for the next 24 hours. So you're sitting on the couch and your caloric burn is going through the roof. You do any kind of dieting with that, you're, you're gonna see changes. And here's what's happening that's different. Every woman that we're measuring, because you know what happens with weight loss. You lose weight, you lose body fat, you lose muscle. Absolutely. We're seeing in every single person, Amber can attest to this, muscles going up and fat's coming down. That just doesn't happen. If muscle goes up and fat's going down, you're heading towards the body that you've always wanted. And mm. you're talking about keeping it if you keep putting the bands on. Yep. So guys, check out B3 Sciences. Check it out. You're going to want to study this guy right here, Dr. Mike DeBoard. He's got workshops all over the world. Uh, I'm just fortunate enough today to, to be uh, having him here in San Diego. And I say, like, hey, Dr. Mike, let's hop on on live. Let's do this bad boy. And uh, let's share what the BFR training is all about because I've been using it with great results. And uh, my clients, not just my athletes, I've been using it with my athletes for a while, but now it's out to the world. So we're sharing it with all of our, our people. And I think it's gonna be one of the greatest things that uh, the fitness industry is gonna start using more of just because it's about results. At the end of the day, people want results. And I, I hate to say, oh, it's you, you, you train half the time and double the results. That sounds like a scam, right? When you hear that, oh, train for five minutes and you get double the results. I'm not saying uh, that. What I am saying is be smart, be intelligent, and BFR training does allow you to hack the system, your system, so that you can physically get the hormonal responses that are necessary, whether you're a high-level athlete of any sport, male or female, or you're someone who just wants to feel good and get your mind right, like, man, I just need to get in there and crush a great workout, like we did today, it wasn't heavy. And uh, last question, and I want to work out. I, I want to show them uh, mm -hmm. a little bit of the stuff we did today. Stay tuned. Uh, last thing, you train with BFR seven days a week? Seven days how a week. How many strength days, how many uh, cardio days? So three strength days. Three strength days. My strength training is 15 to 18 minutes. We did it. Okay. The other days, I do five minutes of cardio and five minutes of core, so I'm done in 10 minutes. Wait, wait. Five minutes of cardio? Five minutes of cardio. Why not 30 minutes? Why not 18 minutes, 30 minutes of cardio? That's the traditional, hey, let me hit 30 minutes of cardio, more cardio, less lardio. Very good, you heard it. Uh, we always talk about that, but uh, five minutes. Are you saying you get the same response? You know, that's a great question. You know, and I teach, I teach this course and it just, you know, it rechanges what people think. Yep. Your heart's a motor. Yep. Doesn't matter how many times you beat the motor. Yep. The heart itself doesn't improve. What improves if you get good, cardiovascular exercise is your blood vessels. Yep. Flexible blood vessels, no atherosclerosis, heart can move the blood through, blood pressure is good. But training the cardiovascular system has nothing to do with time. It has to do with 
Can you create hypoxia? Can you do an aerobic workout that creates a deep enough hypoxia that turns on these adaptative systems? Mm. What does that mean? There's things called nitric oxide. That's that runner zone stuff, right? Or that warmed up stuff. Or they tell you to take the beats on TV, which I don't know about that because that's not natural. This is your own natural nitric oxide, but you have to hit a hypoxia. What does that mean? You gotta deplete enough oxygen and feel the burn. It doesn't matter if you do that for five minutes or five hours. Okay. So I can hit an hypoxia in five minutes that most people can't hit in 40 minutes. <laughs> Hence, I get a better aerobic response. And we're seeing this in athletes. We got endurance athletes. I just got the national champion in mountain biking 12 and 24 hours. He used to do two hour rides. Now he does 20 minute rides. What's going on? we're able to get the fatigue required, the hypoxia drop in oxygen that stimulates the body's adaptative response. It has nothing to do with time. It has to do with only one thing, did you get the burn? Okay, so I guess I gotta adapt my, uh, my slogan to, if I'm using BFR training, <laughs> less cardio, less lardio, <laughs> right? But if I'm an athlete and I'm out doing some speed work or I'm doing some conditioning, going some, doing some you know, right. gassers, burners, I want to do some sprint work, good to have the, the BFR bands on? Oh, geez. Yeah, my, we just talked about my son, and I've got all kinds of athletes that have shown this. Okay. There's studies so it's, on this. Well, you use speed training, strength training, explosive training. Explos hitting a golf ball. All right, I think it's time to, uh, to go out to the, uh, the, the gym out here and, and demonstrate yeah. some of these exercises. What do you think? Yeah. You good? Yeah, let's do it.